even a lot of people. Um, good day to everyone, wherever you may be watching this or wherever you may be listening to me. I'm going to be talking about a very uh, pertinent topic, a very, very important topic that is really worthy of serious attention all over the world. You know, it's, it's the issue of a girl child. A girl child. Uh, basically, you know, when you look at the life of an average woman, and especially having in mind that obviously for every woman has to go through the process of being once a girl child, and we've come to realize the fact that contrary to the opinion of majority of the people, especially the men folk, where they believe that um, the woman is the weaker sex, well, I bet to differ on that because what defines strength is not by the nature of the amount of muscles you have in your body or by the fact that uh, possibly because you are a man and you feel you think you're stronger and uh, you have every full right to think a woman is, is actually a weaker sex. Well, of a truth, if you technically look at it psychologically and considering so many factors, women folk tend to be stronger than even the men by the virtue of the kind of prayer they can absorb, by the virtue of the kind of energy they can exude, by the extent to which they can go to make a family work and to make everyone they care about successful. Sometimes, honestly, not all men can match that level of energy. And it's important when you now look at it from the very beginning, when such a woman was ju just a girl child. It's important that the processes of growth, the processes the woman has gone through, becoming the woman she is now, it's worthy of serious attention. The whole idea is, for every nation, every serious nation, to be careful and mindful of the fact that these women grow up to make a very strong influence in the society. Therefore, there is a need to invest heavily and mightily in a girl child. By the virtue of their training, the level of knowledge, the exposure, the the education, it's important, it's so sad and it's so unfortunate that in some parts of the world, as at this twenty fourth century, still believe that the men should be prioritized. Still believe that the male child is a superior child. Well, a smart nation would invest in a girl child, knowing fully well that the women control the homes to a very large extent. How successful a home would be depends so much on the woman. So therefore, it's important and smart enough and the major factor that determines how successful a home would go should be properly and well equipped and oriented. Because you invest in a girl child, the girl child is going to grow up to become a fantastic and great woman, that is going to build a very fantastic and great home, and bring forth fantastic and wonderful children. And we have when you have wonderful children. That means you're going to have a wonderful society. And once you have a wonderful society, that means you're going to have a wonderful nation at large. So a very smart thing to do at the molecular point is to target the girl child and ensure that the girl child gets the right amount and the appropriate knowledge, development, training and orientation. So that obviously, in the future, this girl child can grow up to be a positive impact. In the, in, in, in the nation and in our generation. On that note, I, it might be so surprising that so many male folks might not want to agree with this. But I think, personally, with the experience with my own biological mother, the level of impact, the level of knowledge, the level of way she is managed to group us as a kid, the impact she's had on us is so remarkable. 
thank God because she's a very well oriented woman. Thank God the kind of training she had while she was growing up. Even though she's not she was not privileged to really study to the very highest level of educational point, but because of the level of orientation she's got and acquired over the period while she was growing up, she was able to realize the fact that education is key and she was able to make that investment and invest in us up to the level we wanted to study. She gave us the support. Today She's going to be with a with, with a maker and a lord, but the truth be told, the knowledge, the impact, and the influence she's rubbed on us, the kids, still remain. So I've come to realize that you want to have a secured world, you want to have a secured future. Invest in the girl child. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.